hello in this video i am going to show you how to implement the select form control so the select form control is this it's a drop down they call it select in the form but if you're using it outside for example like the concept will be called a drop down so essentially a drop down is select as well because you know it allows you to select an item so we've got this basic form already here if you haven't watched the form control video highly recommend that you check that out okay so to implement a select it you know it is super simple so first of all we're going to have we're going to have one of these just so it's a better with formatting if we were to add another component below and we're going to put a select tag and this is going to have a class of form dash select area dash label and i'm going to put superhero select so this is going to allow us to select our favorite superhero and inside of here we are you always want generally speaking you always want an option that's selected uh, and I, yeah you always want that and also you should always have like the first option something like choose a superhero so it's basically informing the user what they need to do with this checkbox you know and thus it you know conveys what the actual purpose of the checkbox is and then you would actually put all your options so option and you put a value just put a value like one and this will correspond to what we are choosing. So if we was to submit this form via a button, for example, in JavaScript, you could check form, you know, this form, you know, you could put an ID, get the, you know, option that's been selected, get the value and maybe one correspond with Batman, for example. And let me just duplicate this. I'll have a total of three options, but you can have as many as you want. This let's say two correspond correspond with Superman and a three correspond with Yoda. So this is you know just for our almost like our checks, not for the user. They all they see is this, like so. And you know, as you can see, it is fully responsive as well. So that's it. That is how you implement a select. There's a few more features like sizing that you can mess around with. I highly recommend that you do. There will be a link to this in the description, this particular page on the Bootstrap website. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.